Hello everyone and this is Glenda Winkleman and welcome back to Creative Grandma. Today's pattern we are doing the crochet moss stitch dishcloth with the chain lace border. So for this project if you want to make the dishcloth bigger or smaller uh, you can do that. Uh, this pattern does have a multiple of two. Uh, so if you've decided, I love this stitch, I want to make a baby afghan or a larger afghan, you can also do that. So just remember the multiple is of two. So for today's project, I am using the Premier Home, an array of colors, beautiful pastel colors here. They have beautiful multi-colors. Uh, they have the white with the speckled, the solids, and then this one I made with several different solid colors. So if you're going to work along, you're going to need a size 10J crochet hook and one skein of the cotton yarn. So here's a sample where I, I messed up on this one because I wanted to do the blue as the border around it. So if you do make a three colored one, make sure whatever color you want for your border do not start with that color <laughs> uh, I just wanted it a little bit brighter so I did use the black because I started with blue ended with red so then I put the black border around it but I think it would have looked better with the blue so that's the one done with the three different solids this one shows the weave pattern here let me get up a little closer you can see it has like a weaved pattern through it. Very nice for dish claws. And then this, like I said, is just a solid colored one. And then we have the white with the specks of pink, whoops, pink and blue. Again, you can see just a little bit of weave, which makes it nice for a dish cloth when you're washing dishes. Let me. You can see it a little better how the stitches go in and out and make a weave pattern. And then the last one I done with a multi-colored. And like I said, this pattern is a multiple of two. Uh, you can make these larger, smaller, whatever you wish. So let's get started. So go ahead and with your size 10J hook and your cotton yarn, start with a chain of 24 and I'll be right back. Okay, so to get started, I have my beginning chain 24 ready. So we're going to start row one. To start row one, you're going to single crochet into the second chain from hook. So skip the first chain. You're going to go into the second chain, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. That's your first single crochet in the second chain from hook. And this is a very simple pattern. You're going to chain one. You're going to skip that next chain and you're going to single crochet into the next chain. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull it through the stitch yarn over, pull it through two loops on your hook. So there is your first single crochet in the second chain from hook. You chained one, you skip the next chain, you single crocheted in the next chain. So you're going to continue that across, chain one, skip the next chain, single crochet into the next. chain one, skip the next chain, single crochet in the next chain. So go ahead and work across to the end of the row and I'll meet you at the end of row one. I'm at the end of row one, so now we're going to begin row two. You need to chain one, you're going to turn your work, you're going to single crochet in that first single crochet. You're going to single crochet into that next chain one space. You're going to chain one. 
you're going to skip the next single crochet and single crochet in that next chain one space and you're going to repeat that across you're going to chain one skip the next single crochet single crochet in the next chain one space and go ahead and work across and I'll meet up with you in your last chain one space and show you how to finish the row. I'm over to the end of row two and I just worked my single crochet into the last chain one space so now you need to make a single crochet in this last single crochet. So row two is the first row of your repeat row. This is a re this is a two row repeat pattern so you'll be repeating rows two and three for the pattern. So now to do row three we're going to chain one, you're going to turn your work, you're going to single crochet into that first single crochet, you're going to chain one and you're going to skip that next single crochet and you're going to work into the next chain one space. You're going to chain one, you're going to skip the next single crochet and just if you're not sure where your chain one space is just stick your fingers in there till you see the hole so there's your single crochet, there's your chain one space, single crochet in the chain one space, chain one, skip the next single crochet, single crochet in the next chain one space, and continue that over until you get to the last chain one space, and I'll meet up there. I'm at the end of row three. I just crocheted a single crochet into my last chain one space across so you should have two single crochet left on that row so you're going to chain one you're going to skip this next single crochet and you're going to single crochet into the last single crochet and that completes row three so continue on and you will repeat rows two and three until you have a total of 23 rows. So I will meet up with you when I get to the end of row 23. I'm at the end of row 23. So now we're going to start our border. So you do not turn your work. You chain one and you start working down the length. So you're going to single crochet right in the side of that last single crochet made. So single crochet right into the side of that last single crochet. That will be your first row end stitch. You're going to single crochet into the next row end stitch. And if you're not sure where it is, just look at your row and look for the hole. Or you can pull it apart and kind of see the holes. So single crochet into the next row end stitch. You're going to skip the next row end stitch and single crochet into each of the next two row end stitches. So there's one, there's two, you're going to skip the next row end stitch and single crochet into the next two. So go ahead and repeat that down to the corner and I'll meet you there. I'm down to the corner. I did my last single crochet into the last row end stitch down the length. So now we're going to chain two and we're going to start and work across the bottom of the foundation chain. So you're going to single crochet into that first chain. So if you're not sure you just have to kind of pull that and look for your chains. 
So go ahead and single crochet in the first chain. Single crochet into the next chain. You're going to skip the next chain and you're going to skip single crochet into the next two chain. So go ahead and repeat that across to the next corner. Skip the next chain, single crochet in each of the next two and I'll meet you at the corner. I'm at the end of the bottom of the foundation row and I'm over to the corner. So now we're going to chain two and you're going to work down the length the same as the other side. We're going to single crochet in that same space as the last single crochet made in that row end stitch. We're going to single crochet into the row end stitch of the next row. We're going to skip the next row. We're going to single crochet in each of the next two row end stitches and you'll repeat that across to the to the corner same as the other side so go ahead and repeat that across skip the next row end stitch single crochet in each of the next two row end stitches and I'll meet you at the corner okay I'm now at the end of our third corner down the length so now we're going to chain two and we're going to work across the top of our dishcloth. You can see it's putting a, a really nice edging on there to do our lace work for the next round. So it's the same procedure. You're going to single crochet into that first single crochet across your top. You're going to single crochet into this next chain one space. You're going to skip the next single crochet. You're going to single crochet into each of the next two stitches. So it'll either be a chain one or a single crochet. So go ahead and work your two single crochet. So for this, I'll just say the chain one space is a stitch. So when I say skip the next stitch or single crochet in each of the next two stitches, it's either or. It's either the chain one or the single crochet. So now you're going to skip the chain one space and you're going to single crochet in each of the next two stitches. So that would be the single crochet in the chain one. Repeat that across the top of your dishcloth. You're going to skip the next stitch and single crochet in each of the next two stitches. So repeat that across and I'll meet you at the corner. I'm at the end of round one of our border and you can see what it should look like. So now to finish off the round you will chain two and you will slip stitch into that first single crochet. So now for round two the chain two spaces in each corner will count as two stitches. So when we're working this around, this pattern, uh, we will be chaining three and slip stitch in each stitch. So when you get to the corner chain two space, you'll do that twice. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. So to start round two and our final round of our dishcloth, we're going to chain three and you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. I'll just pull that through. So you're going to work this all the way around the dishcloth. So chain three, slip stitch into the next stitch, chain three, slip stitch into the next stitch. So go ahead 
and repeat that across to the corner chain two space and I'll meet up with you and show you how to do the corner chain two space but you can see it just puts a nice little lacy chain stitch around your dishcloth okay so I worked my chain stitches across to the corner chain two space so that's here so all you're going to do is you're going to chain three you're going to slip stitch in that chain two space in the corner chain two space and you're going to chain three again and you're going to slip stitch in that same corner chain two space again so you just make sure you slip stitch do the chain three slip stitch chain three slip stitch in each corner chain two space around and then you just go back to chain three slip stitch in the next stitch chain three slip stitch in the next stitch and you repeat that around so go ahead and work around your dishcloth and I'll meet up and show you how to join I'm at the end of round two I just worked my last slip stitch into the last stitch around so now to finish off you're going to chain three and you will slip stitch into that first space at the base of where you did your beginning chain three so this was your beginning chain three so slip stitch right down here in that stitch at the base of that and slip stitch it together and then you're just going to fasten off and weave your ends into the back and that is the moss stitch dishcloth with the little chain lace border. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Creative Grandma and the Moss Stitch Dish Claws. Get creative, try some new yarns, try some new color combinations. Here are the ones I've done. And when you do change colors every row, there is a lot of ends to weave in, but there's some of the different colors. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.